What is going on, everybody, and welcome back to another installment of Keeping It Short. Back with us uh, for this installment is my good friend, William Snotty. Uh, last time he was on, I'm pretty sure we talked uh, football, but this time we are bringing him on to talk some hockey. Stanley Cup playoffs start this week. Uh, both William and myself have an emotional investment in this. I am a Boston Bruins fan. And we each have our jerseys on, too. I like that. Uh, yeah, Boston uh, had the second most points. Washington uh, had the third most. Yeah, third yeah. most. Uh, but what's going on, man? Nothing much. Uh, just very excited uh, for these caps, and I hope to God that we do better than we normally do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's usually not the case, but let's get right down to it. We're going to start in uh, alphabetical order in the East – with the number one seed Tampa Bay against the New Jersey Devils, uh, William, who you got? Uh, I've got the Devils, but uh, or not the Devils. I got the Lightning. Ah, uh, I thought you weren't an <laughs> upset. But uh, I'm I'm very skeptic. If there's an upset, it could be this one because I, I, you know, I've been Lightning talked into been it. Yeah. All month long, man, and yeah. they need to get back in rhythm. I, I went with the Lightning too. Um, when I first heard a lot of people talking about the Devils in this game, I was like, come on. Tampa Bay's too good. And then, yeah, I realized how how much they've struggled uh, the last month or so. The Lightning have, anyway. Uh, their goaltender's not playing very well. The defense is not very good. And uh, New Jersey's just young. They're hungry. So I won't be surprised if they pull off an upset here. I think it goes six or seven games. What do you think? I've got uh, Lightning in game seven in double overtime. That's how <laughs> – that's, That's how close I think it's going to be, uh, just because, I mean, the Lightning, they've, they've been slacking. Yeah, uh, I, I'm past. going with the Lightning, though. they got more veterans. I think that's going to be bigger. Yeah, and I mean, I think they'll pull together in time uh, because it is a playoffs. It's not just a regular season, so I think they'll uh, get serious, but it's going to be a close one. I mean, the Devils are going to come out swinging with Hall. So Yeah, Hall's yep. been hot, too. Uh, what about the next series, Boston and Toronto? I mean, I, I've got Boston. Uh, I really do not like the Maple Leafs, and I mean, this. I honestly think this is going to be a high-scoring series. Yeah. Like, I mean, you've got Anderson versus uh, Rask, right? Yep. Rask? Yeah. And uh, I mean, Boston's sixth in scoring, and the Leafs are f- fifth in scoring, so it's it'll be good. Yeah. Um, how many games do you see this going? I honestly have. I said it in my blog. I think this goes seven games, and I think Boston just gets the edge at home. Uh, I definitely have the Bruins in five. Uh, Bruins in five, really? Yeah, I just – I mean, it's a matter of who wants it more, and then uh, Boston has definitely shown that they've wanted more this season. I mean, they've been down 1-3 in the third period so many times yeah. and have come back to win, so I definitely think they want it more and they'll win. I think Toronto is just a little bit too young. They might be a year or two away still from really being a contender, but I won't be stunned if they pull off an upset. Oh, yeah, I got the Boston at about seven. I think it's going to be a really competitive series. Um, What about your Washington Capitals going off, going against the Columbus Blue Jackets? I definitely think the Caps are going to win this one uh, in six, maybe even five, just because, I mean, the regular season, we're three and one against them. And, I mean, we're – We've been clicking these last 20 games or so, 12-3 uh, and three in the last 15 games, and we dominate at home. I think we're like 70% at home, and then away we're 50-50, so I'll definitely take those stats. I yeah. actually went with Columbus. Uh, I hear you're what you're saying oh, about God. them the, about Washington being 3-1 and one against Columbus, but Columbus has been insanely hot in the last month or so. And Washington hasn't had to face them at all during this last month. So I think that's going to be a factor. I wrote on my blog a few reasons. Let me pull it up. Uh, but, I mean, the, Washington's also 12-3 and three the last 15 games. You can't say that's not hot either. Oh, I know. But the Blue Jackets, I mean, since March 4th, the Blue Jackets are 13-2-2. Two and two. Uh, They have the better goalie. Uh, Washington's known for early exits. I, I just think this really favors uh, Columbus, and Washington hasn't been a great defensive team this year. I gotta stop right there. They have the better goalie. Which one are you talking about? Uh, I'm talking. I'm, I'm talking about Bob Bro- Sergey Bobrovsky. Okay. Well, um, 
Let me just point out to you that in the last 30 games, Grubauer, our backup goalie, save percentage, you want to know what it is? 93.5%. That's pretty good. That's fantastic. And then Holtby, who has been slouching, but he's coming back. You know what his playoff numbers are? Two goals allowed a game in his entire career. Two goals allowed and a 95.3% save percentage. When yeah, and I will give you that. Uh, we're going to do it. I'll give you that. Bobrovsky has not been very good in the playoffs. I think he has a GAA of like over three. So he's not been spectacular. Uh, but I'm still going to go with Columbus. They, they're they young, maybe a little bit too young. But Washington, we fall for the hype every year. I won't be stunned if Washington pulls it off. But I'm going with Columbus. They're just the hot team right now. I'm going to go with them. All right. <laughs> uh, what about, what's that? I said, all right, if you're going to do it. All right. Uh, what about Pittsburgh and Philadelphia to round out the first round in the East? I'm not really sure how I feel about this one. I mean, Flyers are coming in almost as hot as the Blue Jackets, to be honest. And, I mean, you got Drew, uh, Simmons, what is it, uh, Couturier? Is that how you pronounce it? I think and it's then- Sean Couturier, yeah. Yeah, and then you got Crosby, Malkin, Hornquist, and then Latang, defensive end for the Pittsburgh. Like, this is going to be a great matchup. And then you've got uh, Penn's second in scoring. Like, I, I got to give it to the Pit, got to give it to the Penguins on this one. Yeah, I do too. And I really don't think I think it'll be like really physical. I'm just not sure Philly has what it takes. I have the Pens in about five. Um, uh, we didn't say this for the last series. What did you have Washington winning in? Yeah, I said uh, six, if Did not you? five. Okay, I think I said Columbus in seven or six. I think it was six. Um, but for this one, I'm going to say Pens in five. Uh, they've got too much playoff experience, you know, back-to-back defending champs. Uh, and I really just think for Philly and the Flyers, uh, they a lot has to go right for them. They really have to play better defense. And I just don't think they have it. They're going to have to have an insanely hot goalie. And they, they've kind of had a – What's the what's the analogy? Uh, revolving door at goalie this year. Yeah, I, uh, I've also got the pins in five, and I definitely think Murray uh, has stepped up since Fleury left, and I mean, Fleury did, has done an amazing job in Vegas as well. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Uh, because I think goaltending is going to be what solves it. Yeah, and with that, I have to take the pins. Um, all right, so that'll do it for the East. What about the West first round? Uh, Nashville and Colorado. Uh, I mean, I've definitely got the Preds winning that one. Uh, I think uh, Preds in six is what I've got just because, I mean, like, the Predators' offense and defense is just – Yeah, that, that's probably the most well-rounded team right now going into the playoffs. Oh, for sure, yes. Uh, I mean, <laughs> Subin and Josie, like – and then uh, Picarine, like – or P. Ryan, as Taylor calls him. Yeah, P. K. Ryan, <laughs> as Taylor says it. Man, that's... <laughs> uh, I don't think it's, it'll go six games. Colorado, um, I think I read to yesterday or today, they lost their best defenseman and their top goalie, so that they're going to be hurting against that Nashville offense. Really, what happened there? I don't, I don't know. Uh, that's just what I read. Their top goalie got hurt and their top defenseman. Unless Nate McKinnon can find a way to play every position, uh, <laughs> I just don't see Colorado having a chance. I said Preds in five. I'll well, give them. I'll think. give them one at home, but I say Preds in five. You also got to think like Avalanche have a forty-seven point turnaround from last season. Oh, I so know. They, it's they've been a hell of a story. They they've been going, overlooked. Yeah, going from last or second to last to the playoffs is, I mean, that's going to fire them up and that crowd. So yeah. I definitely see them winning at least two games. Yeah, I'll, I'll give them a game. Um, but, yeah, 48 points yeah. to 95, that's incredible. <clears throat> and another thing I will say is I read about it in my blog. Um, they've been in that playoff mode for the last few weeks. They've been fighting like crazy for that last spot uh, with the Red Hot Blues. Um, so they at least have that mental- that elimination mentality already. And Nashville's kind of just been cruising, so maybe that <clears throat> affects the Preds a little bit. Uh, so the next series, uh, Winnipeg against Minnesota. Who you got? Uh, I've definitely got Winnipeg. Uh, I think I think they'll sweep in yeah. four just because, I mean, 
Line A has uh, he's definitely someone to be afraid of, and power play is going to be key here. Jets, uh, their third or their fifth in the uh, no, and their uh, fifth in power play, and then their seventh in power play kill. So, I mean, I think that will definitely be the key here. And then they're also third in scoring and fifth in goals allowed. So it's just gonna it's gonna be a massacre, in my opinion. Yeah, Minnesota. Um... They, I saw that they lost um, their top one of their top defensemen, Suter, uh, for this, for I think for this postseason, not for this series. Um, and I usually go with a team that has the better goalie, and you could argue maybe it's Devin Dubnik, but I don't think the Wild have enough offense to outscore uh, the Jets over the course of a series. Uh, you got so many young pieces: Line A, Wheeler, Ellers. There's somebody else I'm forgetting. Uh, who was it? it was Morrow. I wrote about it. I don't even remember. I, I, I just had Wheeler and Liney. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there, there's somebody else though. Connor. That's another one in their rotation. And they actually have a really good defense. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I'll give Minnesota a little bit of credit. They're a postseason team. They've been it in the postseason the last few years. I'll give them a win at home. I, but I say Jets in five. All right, I like it. Uh, how about this one? Vegas surprising everybody in their first year as an expansion franchise, winning the Pacific Division and collecting over 100 points. They face off against the playoff experienced, I should say, Los Angeles Kings who know how to win championships. Uh, who you got in that one? It's going to be a very entertaining series, I think. It's going to be a very, very good series. Uh, I still think the Knights will win, but it'll be close. I mean, the Kings... I've told you quite a few times, the Kings defense, uh, Dowdy Muzzin, and then Jonathan Quick. You know how I feel about Jonathan Quick. Oh, I love me some Jonathan Quick. Quick. Mm-hmm. But, uh, I mean, the Knights, the offense just has been – they've been stunned everybody. Their whole team has been stunning. And I definitely think that uh, the Knights will win in six. Or, uh, yeah, six. I'm going with another upset. I'm taking the Kings. And about, I think I said seven games. Just Vegas, it's been a great story. As an you know, first year as an expansion franchise, and they've had an historic run. <clears throat> I think it's gonna run out eventually, and the Kings are I wouldn't say they're hot. Uh I think they're only like 10, 5, and 3 in their last 18 games. Uh but Jonathan Quick's a phenomenal goalie. They got a great defense. Um uh, they know how to win. They've won two Stanley Cups, and a lot of guys who are on those Stanley Cup teams are still on the roster. I think they get it done. I say Kings in seven. Okay. Um, I, just, I mean, I, their their first line is amazing, but it's going to be the second and third lines that uh, are going to be the difference in this game. And I just, I think the Knights are going to. Yeah, that's a good point. Open. That's a good point. Uh, yeah. hang on, I'm writing here. All right, next series is the Anaheim Ducks and San Jose Sharks. Who you got? Uh, I've definitely got the Sharks. Uh, I mean, I think well, once they got uh, Evander Kane, then they immediately became a playoff team. Not only just a playoff team, but a second, maybe or second and third round team. Uh, I mean, you think about the addition of Evander Kane, and then they've also got. Uh, Pavelski, and then Brett Burns as a defenseman. Like, I mean, come on, that's a great. I think they could be without Joe Thornton though for this series. I'm not entirely. I'm not 100 percent sure on that though. But I thought I read that. I didn't see anything about that. Dang. <clears throat> I, I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I read that. Uh, but yeah, this was honestly a coin flip. The, all of these we mentioned this in our group text. All of these get these matchups in the Pacific are coin flips. I could see. All of them, Vegas, L.A., Anaheim, San Jose, all of those teams advancing to the conference finals. Maybe, I wouldn't say all of them to the Stanley Cup, but definitely all of them I could see getting to the conference finals. Um, <clears throat> but I'm going with Anaheim. They are playing really well. I, I think I read over their last 18 games, their defense has only allowed, like, they have an average GAA of 2.1. So they're just a really tough team to score on right now. Uh, playing really well. 
and playoff caliber team. They've made the Western Conference Finals two out of the last three years, I think. <clears throat> very veteran heavy group. So is San Jose. So it'll be a very entertaining series, I think. But I'm going to go with the Ducks. Uh, I think in about six. I'm going to say Ducks in six. Okay. Yeah, uh, I mean, I, I still think the Sharks are going to do it just – because their offense and defense, I mean, they're not as well-rounded as the Preds, but they're trying yeah. to get like that, and that's why I think they'll pull through. Yeah, uh, I won't be sh- I won't be shocked. But I think that de- game, that series uh, definitely goes six or seven games. Okay. Uh, so now we're going to go to the second round, back to the East. Uh, you, I think we both had Tampa Bay and Boston, correct? Correct. All right, who you got in that one? I, uh, definitely a Bruins in five. Just really? assuming, assuming Lightning even make it past the first round. I'm still yeah. skeptic. Yeah. Of how they oh, I'm skeptic. Boston makes it past the first round. Toronto's tough. But yeah. yeah but I think the Bruins are like a very scary team. And I mean, these are opposites in the regular season. Like Lightning score strong and then they kind of fell back as the second half. And then Boston's the other way. Once they got that, I think 15 game point streak was mm-hmm. it. You know, they kind of, like, both team, both teams started hot, or one team started high and then fell, and then another team fell and then climbed back up. And it's all about finishing, and I think the uh, Bruins will do it in five. The Bruins worry me just because of the last five games or something of the regular season. They weren't great, <clears throat> but like you said, I think you said to me, after you clinched that playoff spot, you kind of just chill. <laughs> you don't play yeah. as physical. And you, that is kind of a point, and they also played – I know Tampa Bay twice. I think they played Florida twice. Uh, maybe not Tampa. I know they played Tampa once when they were desperate for a win. They played Florida twice when they were uh, trying to get a playoff spot and desperate. So they were playing some desperate teams. And Philly. I forgot about them. All of those teams needed a boost. And I think Boston played all of them on the road. Uh, so that kind of, I think, hurt them a little bit. But, yeah, I'm going with Boston, too. Uh just Tampa, I like you said, if they even get past the first round, I'm not 100% sold now. I think New Jersey can really give them a series, and they're just not playing really well. Uh, I mentioned before that the goalie, uh, Andre, I think, is, I think it's Andre Vasilevsky. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, has a GAA over th- like 3-5. He is not playing very well. Uh, they look out of sync. So, yeah, I'm going with Boston. I think I said Bruins. I'm going to say Bruins in six. Respectable. Okay, I like it. Okay, so then this next matchup, we have two. Di- we have a different. You have Washington and Pittsburgh, I believe. Who you got? I already know the answer, but go on. I de- I think this year that the Caps pull through and beat Pittsburgh in the second round. I mean, just get statistics. <laughs> it is almost impossible for them to do this. Not only three times, like. But three times in a row. They uh, have a history of beating Washington in the second round, though, dating know, back to the 90s. I know. But, uh, I mean, I definitely think with uh, the President's Trophy not on their shoulders that they kind of can relax and they know how to lose and they also know how to turn things around. And so that's why it is like, the difference from the previous two years when we won the, sta- uh, not the, Stanley Cup, the President's Trophy. And uh, acquiring uh, Kempney and Jarebeck, I think the Caps add a lot to our defense, and I think we will pull through in, I'm going to say, game six. Say in Pittsburgh, we're going to win, win it all. That, no, that's bold. I would say Caps in seven if that were the case. <clears throat> um, I'll give you this. If it's any year that the Capitals can beat the Penguins – in the second round, I think it's this year because Pittsburgh is not very good defensively. But yeah. neither is Washington, but I would take their defense over Pittsburgh this year. Yeah, definitely. Uh, uh, once we acquired those two guys, and then the past, I think, 10 games or so, they've the two guys we acquired have just been racking up assists. And I think Kipney scored against the Devils on Saturday. So I think they're kind of starting to mesh together, and that's why I think they'll do it. All right. Uh, so I have Columbus and Pittsburgh – in this series, uh, I can't see Columbus pulling off back-to-back upsets. That's, I mean, we saw Nashville do it, I think, for the first time last year. Not just pull off – they went back-to-back-to-back upsets and got to the Stanley Cup. 
unheard of. I don't think it happens again. I'm going to go with Pittsburgh and uh, probably f- – I'll say five. Uh, I just don't think Columbus has the offense to keep up with Pittsburgh. Um, and who knows which uh, Sergei Bobrovsky is going to show up. Yeah, I'll agree with that. I definitely <clears throat> think uh, if – the Blue Jackets split the pins, that it would be game five. Yeah, so that gives me Boston and Pittsburgh facing off in the east. Uh, but let's switch to the west first with this matchup in the central, uh, Nashville and Winnipeg. This is going to be a very, very, probably the most entertaining second round matchup of this postseason. Would you agree? Uh, I'm the exact opposite. Here, my notes. I mean, I think this one's a no brainer that it'll be the Preds. I mean, they're, they're, uh, attack and defense is just not only well rounded, but the best in both ca- one of the best in both categories. And I think home ice will give them that two zero lead, and then like that's like when once you're down zero two, it's kind of it's not over, but it's it's almost over. Yeah. And I think that'll <clears throat> that'll crush Winnipeg. Yeah. Uh, so you're taking the Preds in what? Uh, I would say Preds in five, just because I mean like. Just uh, I went I went to a Nashville game and that is truly a seventh man type atmosphere. Yeah. Like it's it was insane when I went. I've only been there. I've been to inside Nashville. I've never been there for a uh, regular season game. I've only been there for a preseason game, so I never really got that full experience. But no, they bring it. That's for sure. Um, William, what's my rule though? Um. About the it? NHL postseason. It's never the one seeds. It's never the one seeds. I'm going I'm with Winnipeg. Uh, going with Winnipeg. They are, even though Nashville oh. is very good offensively and defensively, they got a great goalie. So does goalie. Winnipeg. Uh, and I know it's really hard to pick against Nashville. I really went back and forth on this. Um, just Nashville has really looked like a team on the on a mission since the Stanley Cup last year and even last year's postseason. Uh, hard for me to pick against them because I did live in Nashville. I even have a few Predator shirts that I bought. Uh, I'm going with Winnipeg, though. It, the the number one seeds never advance. Very far, at least. A few have advanced to the <clears throat> conference finals. But I'm going with Winnipeg. They're young. They can they skate fast. Really good defense. Really good offense. They got a great goalie as well. Going to be a really good series. I'll say Jets in six. <laughs> I know uh, it's bold. Uh, it's uh, bold. Bold. It's very bold. I mean, and, and Nashville just, won the. I, another reason I didn't like Nashville, they won the President's Trophy. Yeah, I guess that's true too. That's There's true a curse too. around that President's Trophy. Maybe it's just because of Washington, but who knows? Yeah, I can see it because I mean, last year they were a wild card and they made the Stanley Cup, and then now they have the President's Trophy. I definitely think it could go to their head. Maybe. I, I don't see it. I'm going with Winnipeg. Uh, <laughs> let's move it on. Uh, this other matchup, I think you had Vegas and San Jose, correct? correct. All right, who you got? I definitely think uh, if it weren't for the Caps Pen series for me, then this would be the matchup. I mean, the Sharks will be coming in hot with Burns, Pavelski, and Kane, just riding that train all the way to the Cup. Uh, I definitely think Flurry won't won't do it. Won't make it to the Stanley Cup again for a third straight year. Uh, I think it'll be a good matchup. I think it'll be one-one uh, in Vegas coming back to San Jose, and then uh, the Sharks in six. I think they'll win it in San Jose. I, I, I will give you. I think whoever wins this Anaheim San Jose first round matchup uh, will be the one in the conference finals or Western Conference finals. Uh, I so I have L.A. and Anaheim. And I'm going to go with the Ducks. Uh, same kind of logic I had with Columbus. Uh, I'm not going to give a wild card team a second <clears throat> upset over a top ranked or a top seeded team. Uh, LA, LA, I just don't think has the offense, and it's not like I'm crazy about Anaheim's offense. Uh, it's not as good as other teams, but they're really good on defense. They got some veterans. They'll have home ice advantage. I'm going to go with the Ducks in six. I definitely uh, agree that if it's Ducks versus Knights, uh, it would be the Ducks just because they're fourth in goals allowed and then they're yeah. fifth in the penalty kill. 
Oh, I meant, to, I meant to mention that about Nashville and Winnipeg. Uh, when I was doing research, <clears throat> the one thing that really stuck out to me was the power play. Nashville leads the NHL in penalty minutes per game. And Winnipeg is one of the best in the league at converting on the power play. So if that becomes an issue, I expect Winnipeg to really get some uh, opportunities. Yeah, uh, they're fifth in the power play. That, I didn't and, that and I think Nashville was like kind of middle of the pack in penalty kill. So it'll be interesting. Yeah, uh, that's, uh, that's definitely a good point. I didn't think about that. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, so our final four is set. I believe you have Boston and Washington and Nashville and San Jose. Correct. All right. So who you got going to the cup? I have the Bruins and uh, the Sharks going. I mean, this it hurts me to say it, but I don't think the Caps will beat the Bruins. I mean, we'll, they'll do what they do best, and they'll break fans' hearts, but it'll be in the third round, not the second. But, I mean, you can definitely call it a win for Ovechkin and Trotz. Finally get past that second <laughs> round for some yeah. of both their careers. <laughs> uh, I don't know. If, if that matchup worries me because Washington always beats Boston. Uh, I think we even played each other when Boston was kind of heating up. Uh, and the, But I think it was in uh, Washington. So they even – they lost on the road. Uh, but I'll, I'll, I'll take the Bruins in that. I have Boston and Pittsburgh – in the East, and I do not see the Penguins going to the Cup for a third straight year. Thank God. <clears throat> Hockey is just is like baseball; it's almost impossible to predict. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with my Bruins, even though I hate picking them. I hate picking my teams just because they seem to always let me down. Uh, <laughs> I'm going with the Bruins. Uh, they're just they're better defensively than Pittsburgh. I think that's gonna eventually come back and bite the Penguins in the butt. Uh, so I'll go with my Bruins. And then in the West, I got Winnipeg and Anaheim, and I'm going with Winnipeg. I think whoever wins that Nashville, potential Nashville-Winnipeg matchup in the second round will go to the Cup. Okay. Um, I, don't, I, I, mean, I think – I don't th- I'll say I don't think Anaheim has the offense to keep up with Winnipeg. Yeah. I can see that. I just – that Anaheim's defense is – just by, I mean, like the Kings, it's just phenomenal. Yeah, but eventually you're going to run into a team that with enough offense that can beat them. Yeah. San Jose might be able to do it. Vegas could do it. I don't think it'll be L.A. Just on their side of the bracket. Yeah, I I, I, I agree with that. Uh, I got uh, the <clears throat> Predators and the Sharks. I definitely think the Sharks in Game 7 will uh, pull it off. I think they'll win in Nashville Game 7 just to upset everything. I mean, it'll be a definitely an accomplishment for uh, Predators to make it back to the conference championship, but that's where the road's going to end. Belsky and Kane are just going to give Justin R- Subban a run for their money. Or Subban? 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 Subban. Subban, yeah. I didn't say that. So I have Bruins over the Pens in, I think, six. And I'm taking Winnipeg over the Ducks in five. <clears throat> so that brings us to Stanley Cup. You have Boston and San Jose. Who you got? I got Boston, man. Uh, I de- <laughs> I mean, Bears versus Sharks, land versus water, offense versus defense. I mean, these two teams definitely deserve <laughs> I like, to be I here. like that, land versus water. Yeah. I mean, these two teams definitely deserve to be here. I mean, their rosters are stacked. Uh, I mean, the Bruins' attack is phenomenal. They have an above-average goalie, Rask. I mean, their defense, uh, the Sharks' defense will definitely be something to uh, be afraid of. <clears throat> But I think I, Bo- I if, think if, I, if it I comes down Boston. to that, I would take Boston. They just have a deeper offense than San Jose. Yeah, I got Boston in six. All right. Who's your uh, MVP? We were talking about this before <clears throat> the show. MVP, Con- I think it's really called the Con Smythe Award. I mean, I think, I, I think it should go to Alex Ovechkin. Alex Ovechkin. Well, no, no, no. I think this goes to – I actually don't know if it's – I know in, like, the NFL, it goes to a team who won the Super Bowl. So I don't know if that's the case or not. Okay. Well, uh, I'm not sure of... if it's for somebody who just played really well in the postseason maybe didn't win at all. 
I don't know. We're we're new to hockey, listeners, but we know enough. <laughs> yeah, uh, I mean, it, I don't know the rules on it. MVP of NHL, but I mean, I think it should go to Alex Ovechkin just because. I don't think it's the goals. regular season; it's the postseason. That's oh, what the well, cons. Yeah, the cons smith. Uh, Let me look that up. Though. I think uh, hmm. either uh, some uh, one of the forwards on the Bruins or Vander Kane. I definitely think Vander Kane's going to do a lot of work in this postseason. Yeah. All right. So the Conn Smythe is awarded annually to the player judged most valuable to his team during the National Hockey League's Stanley Cup playoffs. So it's postseason award. Okay. Well, yeah, like I said, I mean, it could either go to uh, one of the forwards on the Bruins or possibly Vander Kane. I mean, it could go to Alex Ovechkin. I highly doubt it because... I don't know. I just, <laughs> we don't do good in the playoffs, so I definitely think maybe probably Vander Kane. If I had if I had to take somebody, <clears throat> to get Vander Kane. All right, so now it's my turn. I have my Boston Bruins against the Winnipeg Jets, and out of sheer bias, I'll take not out of bias, but uh, I'm going to be biased and take my Bruins uh, just because Winnipeg. I'm really not 100 percent sure Winnipeg gets to this point. I picked them. Just because I don't buy into these one seeds making it very far since the NFL, NFL, NHL switched to this new format. Um, but Boston is very young. They are very deep offensively. They got a great defense. They got a great goalie in Tuka Rask. But the difference between them and Winnipeg is I think Boston has more veterans with playoff experience. Tuka Rask. Been to a Stanley Cup. Brad Marchand, been to a Stanley Cup. Patrice Bergeron, been to a Stanley Cup. Zidane O'Chara, been to a Stanley Cup. I think even Rick Nash has been to a Stanley Cup. Uh, and he'll be coming back from injury. David Backus, has not, I don't think, has been to a Stanley Cup, but he's got postseason experience. I just think they're built soundly. Uh, very good mixture of youth and veterans. I think that gives them the edge over the Jets. I have Bruins and six. And my con Smythe, I think I gave it to Marshand at first. I'm going to change it to Tuka Rask. I think Tuka Rask is going to have a big postseason. He's been he's been great all year, except the last few weeks. <laughs> except for the last part of the season going into the playoffs. He, he was great from November to about March, and now he's kind of in, eh. But, yeah. So, glad we got to do this. We weren't eh, – we were longer than I anticipated. <clears throat> but Stanley Cup playoff starts Wednesday, I believe. Which was the first game, William? I think it's your Caps. Uh, no, Caps don't play till Thursday. It's oh, okay. the uh, Penguins and the Flyers. That's the first game? Okay. Uh, really looking forward to it. William, thank you for coming on, my friend. Hey, anytime. It's always fun to do this. Yes. Uh, I'm not sure when you'll be back. That baby's coming soon. Mm-hmm. May 17th. May 17th. Oh, okay, you got time then. Uh, maybe we'll have you back if the Giants do something weird in the draft. I or if the, if the Caps maybe. upset somebody. Not upset, because they're a one seed, but beat, finally beat the Penguins in the playoffs. Who knows? I sure hope so, man. Don't <laughs> want right. to anything. All right, brother. Take care. Uh, right. Thanks for tuning in. We will be back later in the week with a regular episode, and James will be back. He told me today. <laughs>